I'm Nate, and this is the all-new Euro RST from Spectre. It's the first Euro model that offers a roasted maple neck, and it's actually the first time I've ever seen a roasted maple neck on a neck through bass. I love the way it looks, and it plays insane for my hands. You really have to check out some of Spectre's NS basses if you haven't already. I discovered one in a pawn shop a couple years after I started playing, and my mind was instantly blown. All right, back to the base. This one's finish is turquoise tide, and they also come in sundown glow and sienna stain. We have a swanky flame maple top, empress wood body, and here's that roasted maple three-piece neck and fingerboard with mother of pearl crown inlays, matching flame maple headstock, and goto GB350 tuners. One of the first things I noticed about this bass is its tonal responsiveness to subtle and not so subtle changes in my playing. It almost feels like it has an acoustic element to it in regards to a broader level of expressiveness. Here's a quick example to show you what I mean. And if you want to hear any of these examples without drums, I'll have bass stems at the end of the video. <laughs> I'm sure the Aguilar Super Double pickups and OBP2 preamp are at play here. They sound fantastic to me, and the pickups offer a really nice playing surface for my picking hand, especially when I'm bringing in some of the less common picking techniques. When I think of Aguilar electronics, my mind doesn't instantly go to overdriven or distorted bass tones. So let's explore that in these next two examples. And I'm running through my Gensler Amplification Magellan 800 head into my Bass Array 2103 SLT and Bass Array 153 SLT cabs. I'm capturing the audio with a Shure Beta 52A, AKG D112, and an Austrian Audio OC18. Now let's run through the different pickup options and we'll check out the onboard EQ controls. Thank you so much for watching my demo of the new Euro RST from Spectre. Find out more at spectrebase.com. I'm Nate Navarro. Take care.